As Jesus began his ministry, he was about 30 years old, the age when a man is considered mature and ready to take on great responsibilities. People knew him as the son of Joseph, though he was truly the son of God. Yet, to understand the fullness of his human heritage, we look back through the generations. Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, was the son of Heli. Heli was the son of Mathat, and Mathat was the son of Levi. This lineage goes back further, showing a tapestry of lives woven together by the hand of God. Levi was the son of Melchi, who was the son of Janai, the son of Joseph, the son of Mattathias, the son of Amos. This line continued through Nahum, Esli, and Nagai, each life adding to the story that led to the birth of the Savior. Nagai was the son of Math, the son of Mattathias, the son of Semain, the son of Josek, and the son of Joda. The line persisted through Joanan, Resa, Zerubbabel, and Shealtiel, each name echoing with the faith of forefathers who walked with God. Shealtiel was the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adi, and the son of Kozum. Their lives, though distant in time, were all part of the divine plan. They were the sons of Elmadam, Ur, Joshua, and Eliezer, each name representing a unique thread in the fabric of salvation history. Eliezer was the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah. Through these ancestors, the bloodline of Jesus traced back through history, connecting him to the great patriarchs of Israel. Judah was the son of Joseph, the son of Jonan, the son of Eliakim, and the son of Meleah. The story continued with Mena, Mattatha, Nathan, and David, the great king who was promised that his descendants would rule forever. David was the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, and the son of Boaz, who was born of Salmon and Rahab. The lineage went back through Nashon, Aminadab, Admin, and Arni, showing that Jesus' heritage was rooted deeply in the history of Israel. Arni was the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob. The patriarch Jacob, who wrestled with God, was the son of Isaac, who was the son of Abraham, the father of faith. Abraham was the son of Terah, the son of Nahor, the son of Serug, the son of Roy, and the son of Peleg. This genealogy stretched back even further to Eber, Shelah, Canaan, Arphaxad, and Shem, the son of Noah, who survived the great flood. Noah was the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the man who walked with God and was taken to heaven without seeing death. Enoch was the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Kenan, the son of Enosh, and the son of Seth, who was born to Adam, the very first man created by God. This lineage, spanning from Adam to Jesus, shows that he was truly the fulfillment of God's promise to redeem humanity. The story of his ancestry is a testament to the faithfulness of God across generations, culminating in the birth of the Savior who would bring salvation to all.